All right, guys, here's the HDB 68. Um, I just want to show you that uh, those little NPT fitting adapters uh, I've been showing in the last couple of videos. Um, I got one installed in here and I went through the side of the shell. This was on my old uh, HDB Gen 1 where I had this stock mounted to, where I put the two bolt holes through. But, um, yeah, I just want to show you, uh, what I've done to this today was I cut the bottom off, I made the pistol grip just slightly shorter, and it's, I incorporated one of those, uh, Mercury Rise twisty degassers, so now it's got one of those. I have a, a carbon fiber barrel, it's about a 683 inner diameter it's made for the smaller balls like the Canada riot balls or aluminum balls from Michael Giorgio Chicago less lethal um, yeah these here if you want to know how I did this you can see right here it's just a uh, that's the MPT fitting I tapped an M13 thread into it and then on this side it has a, a 1 8 MPT male and these are all 1 8 MPT fittings so I can't really, I'd have to take this apart to show it to you, but it's going through the carbine shell. Or sorry, it's going through the HDB shell. So I'll show you that here, I'll flip it over. And then if you can see up there, we got it nice and crisp going through the, the side there, I made a hole for it. So yeah, those are the two holes I had for the bolts. For the, the stock that I used to have on there, uh, so I can still put it back if I ever needed to. But yeah, guys, this is nice and solid. I got it really, really tight with all the thread tape. <clears throat> um, yeah, you've seen these in my last few videos. I show you how to make them, and I show you them working and installed on a few other different markers. It's, like the, the HDR 50, the HDR 68, and now we just did the HDB. But uh, yeah, guys, if you want to see how I did it, just go look at my last. My last four videos are all dedicated to these type of setups. Um, Santa Claus from the groups told me a, a little trick on how to tap these, but. Um, he does the 90 degree ones he taps I tap the straight through ones but anyways to each their own whatever you guys like they're both doable I show off all the different fittings in the other ones so but here's just a general idea M13 thread and then a 1 8 MPT I cut the hexagon off on this one this is my very first one so this one will have to be like probably Loctite in um See, I, I forgot to put the tool mark in like this one. I, I grinded it out. Anyways, my first one mistake, I live and learn. I also got a stainless steel one I have installed in my HDR build, carbine build. You guys can check those out after. I have older videos I just made last night. So it'll be all my last four videos will be on the new HPA builds. But yeah, guys, so yeah, we just, once you, we get all that shell, we get it all in. Put the top rail on here. <clears throat> Couple, uh Torque bits. A few other ones that look like a star. All right, and we'll get this guy back in. Um, get our pin. Yeah, we got 
pin back in. Um, I'm not going to do all the screws, but I'll just do a few of them. <clears throat> all right so i'm not going to put them all in but yeah just twist this and help all that So now I, just, I like to use the pack PQ boxes. Oh. Red dot. Actually, hold on. So, 15 CO tank. I got here. This is a carbon fiber tank, first strike. Whoops. It just gassed up. I had the pin was turned on. Anyways, so you see it gas up, so yeah, I'll gas up again just to show you. Yeah, there, that's all the air now. Um, you guys can see now. Nice clean hole on the side. Um, now, these are the steel um, adapters. They're a little bit longer than the brass ones. If you use the uh, brass ones, you can actually bring it in just a little bit more. But if you take one of these away, you'll be too far over that you won't be able to, these pins will interfere with the shell, so you won't be able to turn it. But if you use the two brass ones, you can actually bring it back even more. So it'll look more tighter and you'll still be able to spin this. These nipples will be like really close to touching. But either way, I'm okay with that. That works for me, man. This is nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, this is my other build. Uh, I don't have the extended magazine on here. I might put one on. I've got one that's half built, so it wouldn't take much effort to put it on. Um, yeah, these are the Gen 1s, the HTVs. Nice compact, nice and short. The only thing really that sticks out now is like the knob here. Like, it's not even an inch really <laughs> extra. So, nice clean build, very powerful. Um, I just did two of these two builds, uh, HDBs, and 
I got 75 jewels out of one and 72 jewels out of the other with uh, just the 800 PSI tank. So, yeah, not bad at all. <clears throat> um, those are going to be going out. They're already spoken for. Just waiting on parts. Those are going out to someone, friends of mine. Anyways, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this. Um, the gasser, carbon fiber barrel we got in there. Um, these are all the 1 8 MPT fittings. If you want to see how I made this rig, go check out my last couple of videos. They're all in there. But here, I'll gas her up again. I'm going to click. I'll shut the tank off and degas it. There's the bolt resetting. And that's that, guys. <clears throat> Any questions, just ask. Y'all take care, stay safe, and have a good one, guys.